Nine days to Tunubu's inauguration, powerful Northern Governor exposed EFCC chairman involvement in Tunubu's victory. See what he said that angered the people. All right, my people, we greet you all this very morning. You can imagine, you can imagine, um, even the ones that we are thinking that uh, will be of use to us to checkmate crime, to uh, reduce crime, happen to now be the ones uh, that even made the crime to be possible. Um, I can't forget that uh, it was made open that uh, EFCT soon be involved in the issue of this election fraud. But as it is right now, with this information that has been revealed, do you think that EFCC will still be involved? Imagine, it is even the EFCC chairman. <laughs> now, people, now where you need to happen? Now, everywhere, now, everywhere. What about you? If now you don't come, what you go do? Um, only God know what in and Bola made Tunubu carry given or the the offer that was given to him that has made him to sell himself away to Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Well, it is suspicious anyway, but let's listen to what this um Northern governor have got to say and what he uh he, he has gotten to say concerning this very matter. You understand? All is almost set for the inauguration of Bola Ahmed Tunubu as the next president of Nigeria, and despite the likes of Labour Party, Peter Obi and PDP Atiku Abubaka contesting the 2023 presidential election result at the presidential election petition tribunal, DEPT. The former Lagos state governor is set to become the next president of Nigeria at the end of the tenure of the incumbent president, Mohamed Buhari, and it seems a controversy is already brewing that would no doubt need his urgent attention when he assumes his position as the number one citizen of Nigeria. In a report by the daily Nigerian governor Bilo Matanwali of Zamfara State has revealed that the reason why he is being investigated for allegedly diverting over 70 billion state funds by the Financial Crime Commission EFCC Abdul Rashid Bawa was because he had refused to give him 2 million bribe. Speaking during an interview with BBC Hausa on Friday, May 19, 2023, Governor Matawale denied embezzling state funds why also narrating that investigations are good and I am not against it, but let it not be selective. It should be holistic and not limited to governors. I am also challenging him, Bawa, to present to the world the documents he said he had against all governors. Then it should be submit, submissive as well to corruption allegation hanging around his neck. Okay, my people, um, this uh, has to do with uh, 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 Tunubu uh, relationship and, uh, you know, the discussion with the EFCC uh, chairman before the election. Uh, Matawale is just uh, he, he, he's trying to take us somewhere, but he, 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 he did not actually hit the nail on the head. Okay, let me just quickly go through um, the, the, the other uh, section of the content. Okay, look at this place. This very place, uh, Matawali, uh, uh, going down the content here, he have to open up. He said, Bawa should tell us what his discussion with Tunubu is after uh, after when it when the time for campaign is over. What was the secret meeting he had with Tunubu and what was his decision? Matawale is saying that I am convinced that the EFCC chairman has a lot to do with Tunubu's victory. Definitely. He has been making himself not available for Tunubu's arrest after the discovery of fraud in the election results. You cannot say. 
In the main content, Matawali refused to speak up. Then later, uh, uh, before the comments, you know, of the people, he came up and said, okay, he now put it in form of a question. You know, so that it will not look as if it was actually the one that said it. So it will not look, it will not sound like a question. <laughs> people, then too wise. All right, my people, you've heard it already from uh, from the, this Northern Governor Matawali. Um, Matawali is actually trying to speak his mind. Why are you investigating me? Why can't you go out there and investigate the people? that really matter why investigating me why can't you say what you know that you know what you saw why can't you say what you saw why are you now peeping on me when you already know the people that you supposed to peep on why did you make yourself not available when you discovered something very very fishy um, during the presidential election why didn't you make yourself available for action? Why peeping on me? Matawali is putting it up as a question. In fact, now our politicians and too much. All right, my people, based on this matter that has just been revealed to us this very uh, evening, it calls for concern. All right, let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take, what your opinion and what your advice on this may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.